you can demonstrate to the students or you can use the softwares to uh, create the e-content and many of the tools and softwares are uh, providing the e-content on the web platforms and most of them are the free and we'll like to demonstrate about those tools which are freely available and the softwares which are freely available. You can download them and use them to create your own e-content. So in this session, we will just briefly tell you about what is the need of developing e-content specifically for chemistry subject and later on demonstrating the website and uh, the platforms where the e-content are freely available. The students can interact with the e-content. Different types of e-content contents are available. And uh, later on, some mobile apps are also available because we know the devices which are in the hands of students is uh, mobile phones, especially not laptop are available, not desktops, but mobile phones are always available with the students, especially the adolescence age. Like at the after the class tens, the parents do provide the mobile phones to the students. So some mobile apps will be demonstrated and some free and open source software, which you can download in your computer system and you can uh, use them for creating the e-content. So there, is, uh, there are a lot of tools available. So I will just start the session and I will share my screen. Till then you can, if you have any query, you can ask me in between. Okay, sir. Thank you. Is my screen visible, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thanks. So I'm starting my presentation. Right. So as I told you, I'm discussing about the subject specific tools here. And uh, we all know the Every subject has a specific nature. And if we talk about the nature of subject chemistry, it is a that branch of science that deals with the study of composition of structure and properties of matter. We talk about atoms, molecules, and the chemical reactions in chemistry. So for chemistry teaching, why do we need to develop the e-content for chemistry? Uh, first of all, the major benefit is sup it supplements the traditional teaching. As a chemistry teacher, we know that a laboratory cannot be replaced or a teacher cannot be replaced by using technology. So technology usage is to just supplement the traditional teaching. And whenever you initiate the development of e-content, first of all, it takes time initially to learn about any software or any tool. But later on, after developing the e-content, it is very simple and quick to reuse the content. You have to just update the content with the time according to the syllabus or curriculum change. Otherwise, uh, initially it takes time. Otherwise, it is very simple and quick. You will uh, create the e-content, get it saved on your devices and your virtual drive. Uh, you can put it on your website or the blogs and you can use it multiple times. And uh, it is uh, used to explain the abstract concepts. Like in the class, in science teaching, there are a lot of abstract concepts. We say everything is uh, matter and made up of atoms. But are, as a teacher, are we able to show any atom to the students? We know it is uh, not possible from naked eye. And we always tell them the atom composed of a neutron, proton, electron. And they are not able to see how their uh, electrons are moving in their orbitals. What are the different shapes of the orbitals? They, these are some abstract concepts in which technology helps to understand these concepts. Uh, and uh, definitely the different complex concept, uh, concepts too. Uh, the different tools make it easier to see and uh, visualize and uh, interact with the content. And it promotes the deeper understanding of the particular concepts. Secondly, we talk about the laboratory part as in chemistry teaching, the laboratory part is very important. So it has removed the barriers of the traditional science laboratory. Day by day, different tools are coming and I am myself exploring and seeing that there are virtual laboratories available where the students can get a hands-on experience of, uh, first of all, the identification of the glass apparatus which, we, which they see in the laboratory. So it will help uh, as a teacher or as a student that to see uh, yeah, or simply identifying the apparatus, glass apparatus present in the laboratory before going to the laboratory and how to handle those apparatus. 
so there is a virtual laboratory existing simulation activities are there so before going to the laboratory the students can experiment in the virtual lab and later on when they go to the lab they can perform the experiment and if there is uh, no laboratories available in the schools then also it is very much beneficial so these uh, technology has removed the barriers of the traditional science laboratories and uh, had triggered the use of laboratory equipment and in chemistry we know many of the experiments are very hazardous like uh, a simple experiment uh, simple not an experiment just uh, the students make fun of keep uh, putting the sodium metal into the sink and see how the simple uh, small explosion or the reaction takes place uh, coming with the contact of water so these kind of chemical reaction if they want to experience if the, if we uh, leave the student in the laboratory and they don't know which chemical to mix then they, these experiments can be very harmful so to get the experience of dangerous phenomena like dangerous chemical reaction they can see those reaction in uh, the simulation activities and they can understand how these experiments can be hazardous when they go actually in the laboratory so this can be a uh, pre uh, knowledge require pre understanding of the chemical reaction in the simulation technique before going to the traditional laboratory and coming uh, uh, up to like uh, new content new type of e content is coming up rather than the audio or video which are said to be traditional e type content but now augmented reality virtual reality animation simulations are coming up and these type of content will let the students to interact with them and get Uh, into the virtual and augmented reality form like uh, you know uh, in a virtual reality the person is himself or herself in the uh, say atmosphere the virtual atmosphere he or she so we can have a virtual laboratories where students can uh, again uh, use the joy the sticks and they can experiment the perform the experiments so uh, it has been started augmented reality content is being prepared by ncrt and many other companies too ncrt has also created so to many of augmented reality content and virtual reality content has been created by again many of the uh, companies and they are providing in the schools you might possible you might have experienced all uh, these of all type of content and if we talk about the type of e content and the sessions has already been taken so not going into the detail of each type there are the type of e content which are like uh, simulation animation mind maps infographic interactives video audio immersive content and a stop motion uh, video some of the sessions has been taken about video how to create video content audio content stop motion animation so i'll just show you some of the type of e content which are already available spe specifically focusing on the chemistry subject so here i have shown you some generic software in which uh, through which you can create any uh, content for any of the subject like h5p is create used to for creating interactive and free plane for mind mapping software is easily for infographic this already has been covered in the earlier sessions so in the similar way using this uh, this uh, softwares or the tools you can create the chemistry specific e content too and i have shown here some example of the like mind map here you know as a mind map is a visual resource which are used to uh, like create an holistic uh, image or the visual representative of any idea or the topic so the topic major concept has been taken chemical reaction and how what are the different features of a chemical reaction what we require for a chemical reaction how the chemical reaction is represented in the numbers or letters forms and all of these sub ideas has been uh, are connected with the uh, of, uh, verbs action works and you can easily understand make this kind of mind map for create explaining about the chemical reaction okay right? so this is uh, one type of e content another one is a canva which is used for infographic and a simple a uh, life sketch of mary curie uh, has been uh, demonstrated here representing a photograph of a, a small video or a birth place and giving a te simple textual information so these kind of simple infographic and mind map are uh, visual resources which can be not only used for the explanation of a concept even for the you can take out later like create the e content and distribute among with the students or create any worksheet and uh, like you can uh, showcase these kind of outputs on your website and on the school boards too school notice board or anyway you can uh, make a competitive uh, competitions for using these type of 
uh, softwares for creating the e-content. You ask your students to use this software and create the e-content. Now, another specifically for uh, chemistry teaching, again, there are a lot uh, available, like free, uh, free contents are available on the Diksha platform, some of the audio books. OLAB is a simulation virtual laboratory experience you can get. PET is also famous for uh, simulation activities. Twice from Crash is from Arvind Gupta ji, is a renowned scientist. And uh, another is the GoLab. So coming on to Diksha, I've taken a screenshot of Diksha platform. A science teacher simply demonstrating a chemical reaction chapter of class 10. Uh, in a similar way, you can shoot a simple laboratory experiment in your school lab where students are not present uh, in a time like you are not able to take the students in your laboratory. Then you can yourself shoot a video experimenting something and you can uh, you create a video content. And what you can do, I have shown this Diksha platform because as a state representative, you all know Diksha provides the content under Creative Commons license. And you can all use the content, uh, freely download it, and you can take, remix the content, recreate your own content. So if you find any good video from the website, you can take a part of that particular video. Even you can take the video and make it in your regional language. Because the regional level content is, uh, we have, uh, we, in our country, uh, we have lack of regional level language content. And uh, we are still struggling because we get the content in the English language or the Hindi language has now been initiated. At, like many of the Hindi language content has been created, but still a lot of regional language content is unavailable. So you can take the video, then you can give a voice over uh, to that video content in your regional language and you can create the content. It, is your, it will be of your content only. You can do that on the Diksha platform. Another is the audio books because you know, they are, uh, they are, uh, I personally believe that uh, using the audio content is very much beneficial. Definitely there's a hierarchy of Edgar Dale Cole or classification we talk about uh, according to the senses that audio comes to the lower part rather than the visual. But if we talk about audio books, uh, I don't know whether you have heard about any audio book. NCRT has created a lot of audio books for almost all the classes and you can explore from CIT website. Can you just start a single audio and uh, just see uh, the students focus is much more in the audio lesson rather than the video because visual sometimes distracts the students too and we know attention span is getting lesser nowadays. So you, as a teacher, you all have... Uh, for, uh, the audio recorder in your mobile phones, you can create a simple stories of chemistry, the interactive, the two teachers are talking to each other. Uh, you can make two characters, like in a video, you make two characters, then you can record the audio and uh, accordingly, uh, you can upload it in a form of podcast. So there are many free platforms available where as a teacher, you can contribute your own podcast created by you. So these audio resources are again much beneficial. Okay, if we talk about the OLAB part, so I will directly uh, go to uh, OLAB simulation. OLAB is created by Amrita Vishwavitim and they cre have created a lot of simulations for all the science subjects, then maths, then languages. If you see one of the example I have taken from paper chromatography, it's a 11th class topic. And in this, the theory procedure all has given along with the animation and the simulator and the complete video, the viva voice questions. So coming on directly to the simulation, I will not show the theory part. You can ask the students to read out the theory, to understand about the procedure of the experiment. Then later on, you can ask the students to perform. This website provides you the uh, free access to the, all the content. You can explore anytime. No login is required even. So what you have to do, you know, in the simple, we have to separate the blue and the red ink mixture. You select which mixture you have to separate which solvent is required, like isopropyl alcohol is required over here. So if you need any, you are first time coming on the website, then you can take the help. Otherwise, you can, if you just click on to the hand, you can see it is moving. So you can understand what are the first step. As a teacher, you can demonstrate the student. The first step is to take the ink in the capillary. You drag the hand here and the ink is spilled. Coming back to the chromatographic paper, you can just drop an ink over here. Then you open up the lid of the jar and you just clip onto the paper over here and 
you just cover the lid and the clock will start out. Uh, and after a few minutes, it, the ink will get separated and you can the students can visualize the ink too, how this is getting separated. So within few minutes or the few seconds, not actually, we know, although in the laboratory, we have to keep this chromatographic paper uh, at least for a night and next day when students come, they see the ink separated. Now you can open up the uh, la jar and lid of the jar and you can see the ink separated. And you have to just click on the show scale. You will see the scale. The solvent has come to five, blue at 4.9 and this is 4.4 .4 on the rendering. So now self-assessment parts come. If a student has to tell the result and the observations, what he is seeing on the scale, if I write 4.9 is the solvent, it is coming out to be wrong. Then you have to write five, it will be coming out to be correct. So there is a kind of self-assessment, how the students are observing and taking out the readings uh, so that this is a preliminary, uh, you can say demonstration or the hands-on experience which the students get, get in this virtual laboratory or the simulation activity. So the students can type all the answers and they can get the RF value calculated and it will be reset and you can select on the another ink and you can uh, get it separated. So this is one of the simulation activity. Another coming on to the next part is on the, uh, I've shown you Arvind Gupta. So I've taken a sample video over here. It is uploaded on Arvind Gupta. Arvind Gupta is a famous renowned person who has uh, created uh, the activities from best out of waste or the simple experiments or the activity which a student can perform in their home to even. And they have uploaded the lot of text, uh, simple books, uh, free, again, freely available. All the content is freely available. So they have also contributed in uh, on Diksha platform for the content. This content is also open. So I've taken some of, uh, one of the chemistry example over here. I will just show you, just play the video. Silver tree, fun with chemistry. So in this activity, a simple experiment of silver tree in which uh, Arvind ji has uh, done an experiment to dip a copper rod or a copper cut out of the piece like it in the form of a tree and uh, a silver will get coated on from this copper sulfate solution. So this is a simple displacement reaction going on and this kind of activities, the students can perform definitely with the help of some guidance if they have got any any uh, chemicals used uh, at their home. Okay, so these activities are very beneficial. You can ask the students to see the videos like in a time of technology, which they talk about the blended and the flipped learning. So these type of e-content, which are already available on the various platform, you can ask the students to see the videos and in the next part, in the next class or in the next laboratory class, you can discuss or initiate the class what they are, the observations and influences. Like if we talk about in our time, we don't have these types of e contents available. So next type, next time of uh, next type of e content on this on the FET simulation. And again, I have taken a simple example over here. FET provides all the kind of simulation much better, like uh, similar to OLAB, Amrita Vishwabhitam. There are not many of uh, simulations for the higher level too. Along with that, they are providing some activity or the gamification, you can say simple gaming activities through which the topic or the concepts can be learned. So uh, again, a simple example of building an atom, I have just opened the link. And if you click on how to create an atom and uh, we talks about how many an ion, uh, this, uh, whether the atom is neutral or is an ion or whether the, it is atom is stable or unstable. The students have to memorize every time if I add one electron or one neutron proton, what will happen in particular atom? So if you see here in this, uh, here are proton, neutron, electron are blank here presently. The periodic table is given. The net charge, you can click, you can see the net charge. Right now it's zero and the mass number. 
and you have to see what you have to see you have to just check on in that like element neutral ion or stable or unstable just at last you check out stable or unstable and you can see the model in the orbital form or the cloud form we have a three containers here kept with the proton neutron electron so if i start with the nucleus you have to add proton in the nucleus and you have you see when i am putting the neutrons dragging the neutron keeping it in the orbital it is, it is not accepting so you see neutron is not present in orbital so i will add here you can see it's uh, two neutron and one proton fine if i take out one of the neutron and see hydrogen uh, one neutron one proton and if i add one electron now it is the neutral atom otherwise if the electron is not present then it is unstable and now it is stable if i try to add one more neutron into hydrogen atom it's getting move like shaking and it is unstable you can see the uh, number of proton is one neutron are two electron is one so if i try to add one more proton it comes out to be helium ion because one electron is missing so i have to add one electron over here okay and uh, we can see it is stable ion now it is a neutral atom now but it's not an ion it's a neutral atom so uh, a student can perform and create an on atom with a specific number of proton neutron and electron and uh, this is a kind of gamification act a lot of gamification activities are present here uh, in this platform fed simulation this is an initiative of colorado university and uh, all physics chemistry bio all the subjects are covered for the different topics you can explore this website then similar in a similar way go lab is also a, a combination of the simulation uh, they have also taken up the simulation activity from fed and some of it, their own activities have also been created in a similar way so you can explore the go lab initiative too and another activity which uh, i find now like here is the building of again but uh, some more creative way to build an atom has been demonstrated by a uh, nova which i have explored again this is a combination of gamification and building an atom so here uh, what you can what students can do they have to create an atom same way you have to add the number of proton electron or neutron in the particular orbits or the particular place but there the sound effects are added to this software the tool which makes it more effective if the atom gets unstable the sound come and it will explode and another activity which they have uh, put into this website is that a student has to understand which atoms uh, will combine to form what so some of the objects has been given like banana t-shirt and we know banana is uh, like make up of glucose c6h12o6 so student has to first create carbon hydrogen and oxygen once they will create carbon hydrogen and oxygen then a glucose molecule will appear on the screen and then the they have to drag the particular number of carbon hydrogen and oxygen and complete the structure of the glucose then only the final uh, you can say you can win the uh, competition competition of the quiz so this is one way where i am not starting it because take, it will take time to demonstrate so nova elements is a similar activity is a gamification activity where the student has to make the atom first and then particularly the molecule first so creating how the atoms are combined to form a molecule will get again more better understanding so again this is one of the initiative and uh, another is a concord consortium again this is a gamification activity for the chemistry and again all the science subjects so again i have taken a example the concord consortium where the activity is like a particle view of the gas how the particles move in a gas you can see here the different particles are coming and if i had start to activity okay so you have to first of all mark two atoms any of the two atom i will can see the movement of these two atoms so if i in start the process like i will start to play the movement of the gases particle will take place and if i have to trace the random atom i have to see how they are moving and i can see the movement so we can always say the particles move in a zigzag motion in the gas so this 
will uh, ex uh, the students will be uh, able to visualize how actually the particles uh, in a gaseous state move in a zigzag way. So in this is this is same uh, many activities have been given, and you can later on the students can assess like assess themselves how much they have learned. The best statement which describe the motion of the particles. They have to check in the answer, and they will get the results. Okay, similar way you can also see uh, the various type of question. Like subjective and objective, all type of questions have also been given here. Right. So this is one of the activity of consortium. Then ChemThink is a good web website where, uh, again the simple activities. I am just entering uh, my name here. Okay. You can see here also behavior of gases. Okay, saying the tutorial. I have to give the tutorial. You can see there are the thirty six pages over here. First of all, they have explained how we have to move step by step. And I have to click on next. In this activity, the students will know how the temp uh, increasing how the uh, temperature is increased and what it affects on the particular um, atom. So, especially the gases. So there is a blank space coming in where no atoms are available right now. I will add on helium. Just click on plus. One helium atom will come. I will add another. For better, better visualization, I will add three atoms here. And here is a thermometer given over here. And I have to just drag here and increase the temperature. Slowly, students have to observe. By increasing the temperature, the movement is also increases in the gases. Fine. If I increase the more. But if I take one neon atom over here, we can compare to if we add argon atom to see the difference. The helium atom, which is the smallest in size, is moving much faster on the rays of temperature, and uh, the coming on to neon or argon. Argon is the smallest, like slow, not smallest, but like moving slowly. So uh, these kind of activities or simulations or the game games will allow the students. Yeah, the students will be able to visualize what is the effect of temperature on the movement of the different gases, the atoms of different gases. You can increase the number of uh, atoms of particular element and you can see. So if I move on to the next, now simulation is off and now the questions come. Again, the speed of the atoms depend on the temperature. Yes, good job. So these self-assessment questions are also provided in this activity. So our objective, uh, what we said for science teaching is to observe the things, observe everything around ourselves and see science is everywhere. So we have to make our students with this logical thinking that so that they can see, observe and try to make out the influence of every activity which is going on. So this activity has made them inference to take out the inference, the movement, how the temperature affects on the movement or behavior of the gases. If we move on to the next one, you can see the different type of questions are coming and the self-assessment can be done. So this is the chem thing. There are many, many good activities to have randomly picked up the activity. You can explore it more for the different activities. And uh, coming on to the lab, lab exchange uh, here. Uh, here again, the different uh, type of e contents are available, but these contents are copyrighted. So you have to just ask the student to see on their websites. So you can see the licenses provided, but they are very good type of again content available here. So for chemistry and the different science subjects. So you can ask the students to just see the content and again make the observation and come out. And many a times it happens that. Um, especially the gifted students in the classroom are much curious to learn more of the higher level. So, as we all know, we, we, our curriculum has uh, some um, foundations of the rigidity that we cannot explore more. And if we take out the videos from the foreign country, then uh, we say that some of the videos have the higher level beyond our curriculum. But for them, for those kind of students which you want to explore more, they can see the content already content available and explore and make out the inferences and make learning better. 
coming on to the chem collective earlier i have talked about the virtual laboratory in olf pet simulation and all the activities which i have previously shown i am providing with the facility of simulation one kind of virtual laboratory is very interesting which is chem collective uh, where you have to create your own laboratory in the physical laboratory when we go there in the lab the laboratory equipments and the chemicals or like uh, for simple titration the solution is provided by the laboratory a teacher or the laboratory assistant always uh, issue the apparatus to us from the stock room in, in a similar way this uh, virtual laboratory or the chem chem collective has provided the facility of virtual lab where uh, you can yourself experiment by getting the apparatus okay issued from the stock room you can see here the stock room is available having the solution glassware and the tools so if we talk about the solution suppose i have to conduct the experiment of titration i have to select one indicator okay suppose i have selected the methyl orange so indicator coming back to solution i have to take out uh, suppose i am taking out the hcl from the stock room i am taking out and if we talk about the apparatus which is required you know which we required the conical flask for my experiment and i required require the pipette suppose 5 ml pipette i am taking out and uh, other volumetric flask i have to see i know the require the volumetric flask and uh, i have to take the burette i taken the simple things basically so here i will drag and drop in my workbench that is similar like in you know, a my table in the laboratory so uh, what you have to do you have to take uh, okay i have done taken uh, the my solution so i have to take the base also so i am taking the sodium hydroxide solution okay so simple like in the excel laboratory what you do you have to uh firstly suck the solution from the pipette and here when you bring the pipette on your uh, solution over here okay and uh, just say you have to bring the pipette over here i think initially the website pops up a bug whenever i will bring the pipette over in my solution over here it will uh, come a pop up will come how much how much ml of the solution you have to suck from the pipette so i think there is an issue right now so whenever i click on here I'll just try to take this from hmm i think it's the issue is coming otherwise the pipet whenever i click the pipet a simple box will pop up where i have to enter the value of the ml how much ml i have to suck it from the pipet so automatically the pipet will take out the solution of this uh, hcl or noh and you can change the value according to the uh, content you required like how much ml you 1 ml or 2 ml is required you enter into that box it will take out and you can just drag out on the empty conical flask and pour it over here like in the simulation activity i've done glass you will just come it here under the burette and if you okay here it is coming no why it is not coming suppose in a burette i have to pour into the burette the 10 ml of uh, uh, solution over here sodium hydroxide my burette is ready with the solution i don't know why it is not coming out of from the pipette in the same way this happens and when you take the okay now okay so you can just open the burette and the solution will come over here and the color after adding the methyl orange solution 
the color change can be observed. So how much you have to take out from one solution, pour it, uh, like uh, take out from one solution and drop it from the another one. And you can arrange your desk according to your workbench according to the apparatus. And you can see the molarity of the solutions which you have already taken in the burette. So you have got different type of solutions, glassware apparatus where you can work on your workbench and uh, do the experiments. Fine. So coming on to the next one, uh, there are the chem tube 3D, again, which in the content has been created from one free and open source software. Just clicking on one of the atomic orbitals, suppose S orbital. The body we shouldn't want to see in the three-dimensional form the molecular structure or the orbital. These has been created by JMOL software. You can see, and you have the controls to when to play or the loop. Okay, and these uh, the content which has been created by JMOL software. I will directly go to the JMOL here before the session end. I will tell you how these molecular all uh, molecules has been created. So one of the software that is free and open source software. I will tell about the mobile apps later. So some free and open source softwares like Avogadro and Jmol are used for creating uh, the molecular orbitals or molecular structures. So different molecular structures, simple to complex molecular structures can be created by this. These all above three are uh, free and open source software, which can be downloaded on your know, Windows, Mac, or Ubuntu software. The below three uh, from among these, ChemSketch is the paid one nowadays. Earlier it was free. You can take the subscription if you want. And these are used to create the chemical reaction, write the chemical reaction. And again, the similar simulation activity molecular workbench uh, is uh, free and you can offline you can download an offline version and the simulations can be executed offline version too. Periodic table to understand about the periodic table. So I've just opened up the JMO software, I'll directly go to one of the software. I hope it's visible. And uh, this is the JMOL panel. I have to download JMOL free from website directly free. JMOL will work only if your system has a Java installer. So Java is required for this software. And this software is create, used to create the molecular structures. So uh, you can see the option of file, edit, display, the basic toolbar. But for part, any software, you know, their basic three steps are followed. One, to open the software, create the content, and do the modifications in particular, like uh, labeling or anything, color change. Later on, at last, you have to save the particular file. So here the major three tools bar, toolbars are used. Uh, coming onto the lower toolbar here, a cross, a blue and white ball and stick form is given. This is called model kit menu. So this is used to create the molecule. And if you want to see the different version or the like rotate the molecule, uh, this A icon is given. You have, can select the molecule through this. In this, uh, I will start, start with the molecule. I just, just click and you can see just after clicking on this model kit menu, uh, right, left hand side toolbar is appearing and a molecule of methane has appeared. If I have to visualize it, I can see here CH4. So demonstrating carbon with the gray color and hydrogen with the three uh, with the white color. So coming back again to the model kit menu on the first uh, topmost, there's the option of Deleting the atom or adding any particular element of atom over here, like oxygen, hydrogen. You can add the number different elements on these question marks uh, by going deep into the toolbar. You can add on your particular element which you want to add in your menu. You can do that too. Second one is to delete the bond, creating single or double or triple bond. And, and the last uh, fourth one, is very important after creating any molecule. Suppose I have created this uh, methane. If I click on another hydrogen, again, it will come out to be ethane. So we see C2H6 is there. Again, clicking on another hydrogen atom, again, it is increased. So if uh, after creating on a single, single click, you can create the molecule. 
See, every time I'm clicking it on, then a new methane, uh, carbon and hydrogen atoms are getting in added. And if I want to delete any or any bond, or you can simply create, uh, use the shortcut Control Z to make it again on the ethane part. Okay, coming back to model kit menu again. First step is to create the molecule. After creating the molecule, you have to get the energy minimization done. On the fourth uh, fourth uh, tool, on the fourth point, minimize is coming. If I click on minimize, the molecule is distorted and it actually takes the shape of the exact shape of the particular molecule. So I can rotate and see the molecule. So it's a very simple, fun-loving kind of game too. You can uh, just create the molecule and at last you have to save it. If you want to save it, you have to go to file, you have to go to export, export in the image form and the JPEG file will be exported. You can name the file, like I'm naming the one. You can select on the JPEG, you can give a path where you have to save it and you save it. So the, mo the molecule is saved in the JPEG file. You can upload into the website. Now, if coming back to the browser again, I've shown you, uh, there is a website called this ChemTube 3D. These molecules, which has been uploaded on this website, website has been created by JMOL software, but for uploading or creating your own website through these kind of moving orbitals or the moving molecules where you can see the different, if I upload the ethane molecule over here and I want to see the shapes of the orbitals, you can do that too. But that requires a JavaScript, a little technical knowledge. These molecules can be further created on JMOL panel. These molecules can be further uploaded uh, with a script editor. So for script editor, a little a technical person can just write a script over here and it can embed that particular molecule into your website or your uh, web, any blog or anything. So it will be interactive in the same way in which way this uh, on uh, KM tube 3D has been demonstrated. So there's a possibility I'm telling you, first you create the molecule on JMOL and save it as a JPEG and use it in a printed form or a textual in, embed into your textual form or the simple visual resource. But if you want to make the molecule interactive in a similar way, that has that has to be required like some support from a technical person. So for initial stages, you can create the molecule. The further things which can be done in this molecule, you can measure the bond angles, you can measure the bond length. If I right click on this, you can see the color change can happen here, the particular at color atom, the background of the, uh, this complete the black background can be changed. The different uh, surfaces like vulnerable surfaces or the different uh, uh, that uh, styles of the simple like ball, ball and stick model or the, uh, the surface model that can also be visualized through this, the surfaces here. Right. So different kind of visualization of a particular molecule or the different type of measurement between the molecules can be done. And another is that you can export the molecules from the protein data bank. That is a international level of data bank where the molecules have been created and uploaded and a particular four digit code has been given. That code can be entered over here and you can what the, the complete molecule will come over on your platform and you can make the molecule, like make modifications in the molecule. I've randomly clicked on a molecule, the already four digit code has been given here. I can you see this complex molecule has been definitely created by someone and you can make the changes. They have given the color code too. So for higher education also, this uh, complex uh, molecules can be created. Even at school level, the students can create the molecule. So this is one of the free and open soft software, just exiting where uh, molecular structures can be created. Another is the, the chemistry teacher as a chemistry teacher. 
we all have a requirement of creating any kind of uh, manual or the thing where we want to uh, draw something like a glass apparatus and all. So Chemix is the website, the open tool where you can create your own laboratory apparatus. Like I am just deleting by default at the big pan or the things are given. I'm just deleting it. I can choose the type of container which I require for my drawing here. So I can take a test tube, bring it here. Then I can even change the color of the liquid by coming here, liquid color. I have to change it to yellow. Suppose I want to show an acid or the bromine. So I can change to that. I can move it. And coming on to if I want to make bring out the boiling flask over here. So you can see like in particular infographic work, similar way this work. So creating a, a, a glass apparatus drawing in a digital form, you can say, or a handbook or the which you can use in your handbook or the worksheets, anything. You want uh, students to just uh, give a question for labeling or uh, the apparatus or anything. So you can create the drawings and you can download it in the image form. So this can be done through Chemex. I'm leaving it here. And uh, just quickly, 10 minutes are left. Okay. This I've already shown you. Just quickly go to the mobile apps. So some of the mobile apps which are specifically used for chemistry are like periodic table. I have taken a screenshot. This app is free where you can explore everything about every element which are existing in our nature and uh, as, associated with that a particular video of its, its simple chemical reaction has been given which you can show to the students how that particular element uh, reacts in coming in contact with the water or air and to deal about the properties of any uh, element like starting from its atomic number mass number or its behavior electronegativity and all this can also be learned for this periodic table app. Similarly, one beaker app is a simple app which is used for the chemical reactions in which uh, the, uh, the uh, mobile phone act as a beaker. So I'm just showing you the simple demonstration video here. From a portion to the pictures. Are you saying saying something? Yes. Can we do a subject bigger size? Yes, sir. Little bit bigger size, please. Okay, bigger size. Okay, sir. I will just tell you because the sound is very less in this video. When you download the app in your I will tell you once about this app. When you download this app, uh, there are the some like in the menu. Uh, top here, uh, three lines. What, yes, is the, what is the name of this app? Beaker, Beaker, sir. Okay. In this app, when you download the app, uh, your mobile phone, when you open the app, your mobile phone will have a complete black background. Black, all the mobile screen is black, will become black. That will a beaker. Then you just go to the three lines over here on the app. And the same, various, like you have seen, uh, the different uh, salts are coming, the liquid chemicals are coming. So you just select a chemical which you want to uh, make the reaction. Like here, I've selected the sodium and I've added the hydrogen, sorry, water into that. So I will just show you once more. I have, this is the menu coming up here. So I have taken a sodium. Suppose I click uh, AGCL, silver chloride. 
I just click in dot continuously press that silver chloride. It will get added in my beaker means mobile phone only. And later on, excuse I me, add could you please energy. excuse me? Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Could you please zoom in the this one screen? It's too small for me to view. Yes, ma'am. I'm just explaining Thank it you, first. Yes. I hope ma'am and sir is visible. Uh, what I have, because this app comes out in a back background only. Whenever we open the app, it, the complete mobile phone becomes black. Okay, so you have to just add the specific uh, uh, salt on uh, by pressing it continuously. I have taken a sodium metal. It is like in the ring form. The sodium metals get collected in the beaker. Then later on, I add the water and continuously press the water. Whenever the water reacts with the sodium metal, the reaction comes up with the, uh, this uh, explosive wave. So this is a simple way to experiment in a phone only with the simple uh, chemicals which are available in this app. So I cannot zoom it much in size because this video has been recorded through a screen recorder of mobile phone only. I hope it's understood, ma'am. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. And the nether app is on the PME Vidya AR app. I hope you have aware. Otherwise, I will just show you one app. Again, uh, demo two here. Again, this app is uh, has been created by NCRT for uh, for making the content. Uh, right now, the ninth and tenth class content of all the three subjects, chemistry, physics, bio, has been created. In this, the content, what you have to do, you have to take the NCRT textbook, uh, download the app, and scan that. Uh, for just uh, identify what content has to be seen in augmented reality form. So just go to the chapter number, the exercise number or the figure number of particular stat chapter. Then just uh, click it on and the camera will open up. Then uh, scan the particular figure number from this mobile phone, from this app and the augmented reality content will appear where the students will able to see the virtual reality, sorry, augmented reality content and uh, with the instruction and the activity, some of the activities you can perform. Students can just drag and drop and see, and they feel like they are experimenting in the laboratory. So this is the augmented reality content, and, and the app name is PME Vidya AR app. I've given the hair screenshot out. PME Vidya AR app. Right now, the content of ninth and tenth class is available. So you have to just select the class ninth or tenth. Take science textbook chapter number and the figure number and the activity will be loaded here. Fine. So these are the mobile apps and some of the gaming mobile app, like you play the Candy Crush or some similar way, the Happy Atoms or the Molly, My Molecularium is the app where the students can uh, have a bubble burst out. You, in the same way, you have to create the molecule by clicking on the different atom. You just shoot the atoms. When the molecule is created, you will just cross the level. So simple gaming apps in the chemistry and uh, the chem spiders and chairs are for like chair or uh, view of the chemical structure can be uh, created through this app 
and chem spiders uh, for like creating the molecules only and at last some teachers have requested in the earlier sessions which i have already included uh, the last special work of a teacher chemistry teacher is to write the chemical reaction in the digital form so one of the grid software is uh, uh, that chem sketch that is paid one but other alternatives are present here like king draw fx chem draw chemical equation expert where uh, you can create the uh, write the chemical reactions you can balance the chemical reaction you can ask the students to balance the chemical reactions too so here in draw you can draw the chemical reaction like in a mobile phone whenever you draw the simple in a raw form benzene structure it will automatically take by default the shape of the benzene structure so these kind of uh, apps or the softwares are also available where you can create the uh, chemical reaction so if any question quick uh, question we can take i'm just sharing stop sharing the screen because the session is about to end hello Yes, sir. Ma'am, is there any question? Hello. Hello. Is there any question? Vidya Nanda sir and Mary ma'am. So welcome back everyone. And we hope that all of you must have enjoyed your sessions, whether participants or resource persons, all of you must have enjoyed attending or 